And now, your first alert weather. It's live by radar, and we've got snow showers that are pushing across the eastern highlands. The Fort Hill just rejected some more snow here about 11 o'clock. We had a major little blast come through Income, Pocatello, Chubbuck, on over into Wapello, and then you get up toward Black Shelly, Firth. Yeah, and it's still pushing to the north and the east at about 15 to 20 miles an hour. High sea? Yep. It's uh, Swan Valley's turn right now. My friends in Irwin reporting about three inches of snow, and we get up toward Grand Targhee. You'll certainly take it and put it to use. The skiing continues and probably some bonus days for our friends at Kelly Canyon as they think they're going to wrap up the season. Uh, this is unheard of kind of weather and everywhere I go it's yeah make it stop. Well I, I you know just hang in there with me here. You see how dismal it looks. We're in the upper 20s not making it past freezing and you're getting that wet snow and then a, a rain shower will come through, melt what's fallen and then we'll do it again and everything freezes up. This is in Juniper along 84. That's the exchange that we make as you head to the south. And you can see how just dismal things are there. And you head over toward Northgate. And this is what we're looking at on the roads there and into Fort Hall where things were a little tricky earlier. There's some heavy clouds there and we had uh, quite a blitz of snow. This is if you're trying to get from one state to the other. That's Wilson through the pass and uh, this, the roadways are covered. So there's going to be some blowing snow, but it's wet in Idaho Falls right now and the rest of the day today we'll see snow showers. We've got pretty good chances of it uh, as you head toward Hoback Junction. Yeah. You're going to need to slow your roll. There'll probably be some uh, slick situations here. About a 50-50 chance of snow continues into our Saturday and Sunday into the lower valley. Now, if you come on over uh, and look outside, things are shaking right now with the cameras. we got about 28 mile an hour winds. Our temperatures are mostly below freezing and about uh, 32 in the salmon on the edge of a winter weather advisory. So let me point all that out to you and show you where everything is lined up and how everything's going to shake out. So with winter storm warnings that continue in the areas surrounding us through uh, tomorrow night for Teton and Lincoln counties and West Yellowstone up toward Beaverhead and you get toward Island Park and Gallatin and uh, yeah, you're on the edge of that winter storm warning as you well know. We'll keep the advisories up through tomorrow morning for the northern upper Snake Plain and then we get to the southeastern highlands and down around Preston as well. And then we got the wind advisory that will expire tonight at midnight. Uh, just on the edge of Bonneville County and all the way back into the corner. 35 mile an hour plus winds and we have seen some of that and there's uh, substantial snow coverage that's going to add up over time, especially as we get into the nighttime hours with the rounds of snow. There's going to be some dry air associated with this too. So it's not going to stick around so much as it is going to fly and make things difficult at times. Uh, we'll see at least four to eight inches into the eastern highlands, I think, uh, by the time we get into tomorrow, tomorrow evening, whatnot. But there is cold air coming too. And that is more frightening to me personally because it just gets bitter around here with snow showers and hit and miss snow all the way into tomorrow morning, deepening snows into our eastern highland areas. This will continue on into Saturday and we'll take another dollop of snow as we get into tomorrow night as I guess you call it a, a it's like a small area of low pressure. Could you see that when the, st when the system started spinning backwards? It's creating a I guess a mezzo low and we're pulling up more snow uh, and that's the uh, thing about it. We're creating our own little uh, Antarctica here with this weather system and it doesn't if it doesn't go away then we're going to see more accumulation. So we sit on the fence and go okay with blowing winds of up to 30 plus miles an hour and the little circulation that we have it's going to be quite the blustery weekend and you can see the camera in Idaho Falls moving around. You go to Pocatello we got more of the same and it uh, it's pretty pretty nasty when you swing things around and, and take a look at your hometown here along I-15 because uh, this is a live look over Pocatello and headed toward Blackfoot. Uh, it was uh, hard to see this morning there on the roadways and you get moments of the burst of snow and then there's condensation. Uh, it's kind of like a makeout session. Uh, but things around, right, things around here, there may be pokes of sunshine as well as you, as you look above. Let me uh, lower the camera here. We'll see who's skipping work for lunch into Blackfoot. But uh, It was very dismal this morning.
to begin with. And a lot of you had to drive through that. So let me talk about accumulations because this is what you want to know. A couple of inches flies here, especially to the east of our area. And there may be more as we get into Saturday overnight. Now, if I extend this anymore, the, the projections have us going deeper than that. But we're going to follow this and watch that uh, system pull that snow up in here. So I've got about a 50% chance of snow into Saturday and Sunday. The temperatures drop into the teens and the tweens. It's going to be about 20 degrees below normal what it should be for this time of the year. And you'll see uh, some gusty conditions. So road coverage with blowing snow overnight and good chances of snow there into salmon, 22. And then it gets even colder. It's going to be right around freezing. We're back into the 40s next week, but there may be more of this in your future as you start. So green light for more snow in Jackson down to 16 tonight, mid 20s and single digit lows. There may be some record breaking temperatures in our future as well as we get into that. That's why it's important that you download the weather app and track this with us. And we want to see your observations as well. Please share your measurements and pictures and what you've seen so that we can share those with our friends and family that are watching us. So two inches of snow in Rigby. Uh, we've got about 1.4 inches as of uh, this morning in Stanley. Down around Bear Lake County in Burn, there were two inches. And we had five inches of snow fall in uh, Downey. And I've got reports of about three inches into Swan Valley. And Emma, don't put away the shovel. Just yeah. Don't you worry. All right, thanks, Jeff. Coming up next.